Hello everyone, Philip Williams again, senior at George Mason University, studying computer game design. This is um, another update video. This is a Mac 11 that I have been working on. Started it about a week ago, didn't really do any update videos. I just wanted uh, to show um, what I've been up to. And um, this has been it. It's been a very interesting experience. First, I wanted to do a Mac 10, and I just decided, well, with the help of my friend Eric, he was just like, why don't you just do the Mac 11? It's the latest version. I said true. And um, so now I'm here. Right now, I'm about to make some cuts. Didn't mean to do that. Make some cuts so I can uh, make this a four-sided polygon right quick just for uh, aesthetics so I would like to thank all those that support me that push me to follow my dreams I wouldn't have, have even thought that I would be in the position that I am getting a degree in computer game design in the fall it's pretty exciting when I when I first started, it was just um, what some college people know as a filler degree. I kind of just put it on there, and I really wasn't like trying to do a lot of hard work. And then, turns out some of my game design work has been the hardest work that I've ever done in my life. So um, it's not easy, and um, I don't put down anybody that you know does anything that has to do with art whether it's photography whether it's painting even scripting is an art to me like you have to know what you're doing and one one like bad line of code which is you know ruin the game so um i do respect a scripter so um i don't want to put anybody down like game design is the best thing out there and you know, if you're not doing it, like, you know, you're like you're a bum or something, no. And I would also like to thank God for my talents and just being able to um, accomplish some of the things that I've done. And I believe I have the talent of just, of just learning something um, in its core. And I really pay attention to like fundamentals, um, whether it was playing drums. Right now I'm playing bass guitar. With that, like I really hone in on the fundamentals. And I believe that is what is going to get you to your next level. Like everything else will come. So that's what I'm doing now. The method I'm doing is basically box modeling. And I'm going to keep doing it until, you know, I eat, breathe, and sleep box modeling so right here I'm gonna just make the trigger right quick do my um, usual black wireframe gray material with edible poly um, still haven't figured out how to get it to um, automatically make a shape that you know comes out with the black wireframe and the um, gray material still haven't figured that out still wanting to know that someone just delete this face do a little shift dragon which I think is one of the best things about 3ds max is being able to shift drag and create a new geometry just on the fly not really having to keep on adding boxes or keep on using extrude which this is extrude in a, a different way so and, and uh, I'm gonna just go over some plans that I have my plans are <clears throat> um, I'm applying right now at Bethesda Softworks creators of um, you know Dishonored, uh, Brink, Fallout 3 they didn't do Fallout New Vegas but Fallout 3, they're currently working on Fallout 4. They're not really telling anybody, but trust me, I know. Um, Wolfenstein, I tested that. Great. From what I played, that game is going to, like, 
break a lot of barriers when it comes to like FPS and environment. Awesome game. Um, that game is going to be great. I know some people who are uh, currently working on it now. A scripter I know that does environmental scripting. He's working on that now. And I'm coming to the end of my trigger. That's basically it for that. And of course we need to soften it up. How do we soften it up? Well, I'm going to cap the poly. Add a... Um, I mean, it's multiple ways. I can even do it the quickest is put a symmetry modifier on top of it. It'll automatically go to the zero of the Z. Take my mirror and move it over. So probably to about probably like right there. Take that, copy it and collapse it. Then go back to my edge mode and click this edge. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect all the other edges. I know where they are. I've been doing this for quite some time, so you tend to know some little, some little quick tricks. So I'ma uh, pull this one out a little bit, give the um, give the geometry a bit of flair. Deselect all of these and pull this out some and the bottom of course wanted to act funny so we're gonna make it plainer and then I'm going to shape and I made it plainer just to get the geometry um, a certain way now I can always change this of course anything that I'm feeling that's not in place I can always go back and change it <clears throat> if I feel like the shaping is a little bit off the smoothing groups are a little bit off and it's the edge in here that I'm going to just pull down because it's not not that one see I had it though this edge right here pull that down some and go to the left view and yep so let me check my time I'm using um, immersion I think that's what it's called it's a screen recorder um, not getting a pro version yet feel like I don't need it just yet but I feel like I'm good with 10 minutes I can just keep you know re-recording but with that with the time that I have left let me just do a quick render and how I'm gonna do that I'm gonna attach everything that's in the scene to the body as quickly as possible and this is the last one and I'm going to oh, that's the last one I'm going to control V to copy and add a uh, wireframe mesh so I change the material to wireframe then I'm going to add push which allows me to push out the lower wireframe so probably to about two and then with that push out I'm going to unfreeze this and hide it and uh, add a light which casts shadows and basically start my first render so shift Q will allow me to do my render and while that's taking care of business let me check my time again okay it's about 30 seconds and I in my next video sorry about that kind of pause I was thinking about something my next video I will I'll go over stitching for this. I will stitch a couple of items together, but uh, rate, subscribe to my next videos. Um, I will do a tutorial soon enough. Thank you.